Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, where today we sort of, we got very sidetracked. Well, not super sidetracked, a little bit sidetracked. And now we're gonna go to the ambush site and uh, see what we can do from One there. I'll catch I feel like I'm doing everything in the wrong order, but <laughs> I'm just doing, I'm just a little guy. I'm just doing my best, trying to make sure I see everything, but my tiny little eyes and my tiny little brain are like, why, what's this? See, look, what is what is this? I don't know. Am I going the right, I'm, I'm going, okay, 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 we're getting there. I'm, I'm concerned. Oh, oh, here we go. There's, I was like, oh, there's probably people. There's a chest in there. We are doing okay. Shouldn't have wished to live in more Ooh, interesting times. We have level two, we don't, but I can use a level three slot. <laughs> okay. That might be silly, but we're gonna do it anyway. Still breathing. Ooh, a hammer grim mist amulet, fog cloud. One of the relics of deep Duranus rebellious children. Seeking desperately for anything that would aid in their fight. I saw something else I think about deep Duranus rebellious children. Like another artifact that I had that did something with that. Um, really? I got up here just fine. Oh, here we go. Slightly up above. Must be on my way. What's what's up? What's up? Hello? Oh, can I? Who do I want to talk to? I don't know. Um, what? What? Welcome to your church every day, my queen. Your followers are legion. Go. We'll wait for your signal. What? Well, I don't know what's going on. I mean, this is the ambush, but like, I was thinking we, you know, talk a little. Your faithful I don't know who this is. Your Majesty. Soon we march. Soon the world will bow to you. I would assume lost, but like. We're not in the yeah. web ass. Something moved up there. Want me to drag you? I am out? the worst at stealth. Uh, uh what I'm, what was I supposed to do? I didn't read the journal entry. Was I supposed to pretend that I'm not here? Uh Or was I supposed to pretend I'm with them? I'm going to stay here. I don't know. They stay in the light. They do not go into the dark. Didn't figure something as big and ugly as you for a coward. Oh, but he does have a moon lantern. Oh, hey, well, okay. Will not go into the dark. Enough. Stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. They will not become shadows. They will not feed the curse. Forgive me, my queen, but I had to. Before the dark got any stronger. Give me that. Give me. Try to fade into the background, and I <laughs> uh, 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 I mean, I'd like for them to maybe keep going. Uh, I I cannot stealth. It's it's time to go. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna stop. Destroy the We're gonna uh, just stop. All right then. What? Take the moon the dry it is a drider. No, whatever you're about to do, I don't want to deal with it. I'm trying to read the journal entry. If we want to hand- yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, should we- we should put Will up here, I think, also. I go. Oh, that was Shadowheart. I don't know why I thought that was Will, but Shadowheart can be up here for a bit, I guess. Um, what do the what do you people do? What do you people do here? Moon Shield. The Shadow Curse does not affect you. Spindleweb fanaticism. Uh, you are a Drow, okay. But you are an absolute entity. I don't know. It must be like a lulf. 
also, because the Absolute isn't referred to as a queen, as far as I know. Can't be surprised. How cool. How cool. Against being charmed or frightened. Good to know. I would like... What do I want to do to this person? Can't charm. Let's see if we can't... Let's see. Are you... You're a dex build? Oh wow, look at all this. Oh, I didn't even notice. Dang, the multi-attack on wounded target is intense. Yeah, we need to maybe drop the de it's dexterity and strength. But it has dexterity proficiency, so yeah. Maybe we'll Cruiser. It has a high wisdom, though. Oh, I don't know. Oh, you have to touch it? This is... Oh, that's un... Oh, that's cool, actually. Bestow Curse Dread. Attack Disadvantage. Okay. Well... No, I'll, I'll have her keep it at a distance for now, I guess. Fear. The one guy was, like, dressed nicely. This guy? Oh, good. Oh, cool. That's good. Love that. Shadowheart did succeed on the concentration, which is good. I don't know if I've said it on here, but I've told it to my friends. Asterian's usually the one who says it for me, but whenever they use that cantrip, Ignis... To me, especially with Asteri, and it sounds like he's saying, EAT THIS! <laughs> Which just works really well. So every time he's like, EAT THIS! <laughs> Shoots a firebolt. I'm like, yeah, that works. Um, let's actually... I would like to use Searing Smite. What are you, do you have... Let's see. I know I've looked, but... You have no particular resistances. We could do Radiant or Fire. Let's do Radiant. High defense is frustrating, but there, there we go. You, this guy. Wait. Oh, no, 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 not that guy. It's this one. This one is like the orc who's dressed in nice, like, finery. Oh my gosh, Cloud of Daggers. Uh, that being used against me is unpleasant. Is that guy using a stick? Why do I have advantage? Underdog's bravery? Is that something I have? Uh, I don't. Oh, because uh, somebody cast something on them. Okay. It did work. Okay, I used a scroll called Phantasmal Killer. Um, it didn't do any immediate damage, but it did it later, and it is a concentration spell. Um, that here. I mean, I'm sure many of you know. But I, I don't know. I don't know anything. Um, takes four to forty second damage per turn. Can't move and has disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls. And it is frightened. Is it? Or maybe that's just a an oper that's just a chance because it does have. It might not be frightened, but it is taking damage from it, so that's good. Um. Did we did we not do? Did she lose concentration? She did. Oh yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm just using the torch, so. I need to up my game <laughs> with, the, with the smiting. See, this is why I don't like carrying the torch around. Hopefully the moon lantern will make things easier, because... Then I end up rush. although to be fair, this was an ambush, and I should have- I should have paid attention. That was my bad. <laughs> 
Uh, where, where are we at here? There, okay. I was like, just have removal. Oh, excuse me? Uh, why did a child's voice come from this corpse? Cruel sting. I am a drown. The lantern gives off a chilly glow, protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. I'll be damned. I can feel the light clear down to my bones. Farewell then. And may the path to the towers rise to meet you. Uh, thank you. Uh, but I you notice a tiny pixel oh, trapped within. That's who's talking. These fey creatures are infamous Ooh. for their trickery. Sometimes playful, sometimes malicious. Oh please! Oh golly! Me, oh, oh golly! You must release me, or I'll die. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. Uh, who are you? My name. My name is Dolly Thrice. Dolly Thrice. Now, won't you free me from this vice? Uh, what's the mechanism at the base of the lantern? I dare not name it, newfound friend. The faintest touch could spell my end. Oh, what? I'll gut you like a ten-day-old if I you wanted don't to... me right this moment! I wanted to ask if it would, uh... If it would help me, but dang it, sometimes I pick a certain conversational option and it cuts out the other other ones. My, you've changed your tune. If you prefer the kinder type, I'll sweetly slurp your guts like tripe. Uh, keep... No, no, no! Carl, I disapprove. Every... Okay, freaking everybody but me disapproves. Listen, we need it. Little wings. Big mean mouth. I think, I feel like I handled that very poorly, but alas, here we go. Uh, let's... We do need a nap, but I do want to talk to people. I want to talk to these dead guys. The corpse seems willing to speak. Oh yeah. But not to its kill. All right, Carlag. Um, or not Carlag. Uh, rather you. I what the next move is. Disguise. Can you disguise me? No, only herself. Well, I'm stuck. They tried to do Shadowheart disguise self. But then she couldn't cast Speak with the Dead. Oh, wait. Maybe because she's out of the spell slots? That might. But it's a ritual, so I didn't. I didn't think she needed to do that. I think I'm just gonna have to long rest, unfortunately. She kind of wastes my short rest, but I've been looking stuff up and I haven't seen anything else. Besides the sky's self, which I don't have. Like, I don't... I can't use it, and for whatever reason, when I pass off my amulet, it won't let anybody else use it, so... Oh my. Okay, so it looked... Okay, so... So, okay. So, Asterion has something to say, which means he's probably going to be mad, but I think we can talk to Carlac finally. Let's see. I have a lot on my mind. Hey, soldier. I thought I might come visit you later. <laughs> when everyone's asleep. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Shall I knock out the others? Uh, what a- <laughs> look at that. Uh, of course! Me too. <gasps> See you later. She's being really cute. I can't wait. She's being like- I thought she'd be like, like jumping up and down and stuff, but she's actually just like so like- in, She's just excited, you know? She's like, um, like that feels like a real excite- I don't know, like it feels like it's just like- She's like, can't believe it almost. Like, that's so cute. Okay, hang on. Let me talk to Asterion. He's gonna yell at me. You know, I feel a connection between us. Oh, yeah? Like we're two souls walking the same path. I feel like you're gonna... You might be a little naive in the ways of the world. What? But I see promise in you. Ambition. I don't think... It, uh... 
Uh, I thought you hate. Yes, I, I. I thought you hated me. Such a strong word. We have our differences, but we don't have to. What do you do? We? What do you want? I just worry that we're not considering all our options when it comes to our uninvited guests. How many people are infected with them? Do you think? Hundreds. Thousands. And they're not just goblin trash. There are powerful people in the worm's throne. Yes. Whoever's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers controls it all. But if we can take that control from them, imagine the power. So, so you want us to? What? <laughs> yeah, he wants us to be the evil masterminds now. Um. I don't want to like. Uh, nah, until we transform into mind flayers, you mean? That's just the thing. If we control the parasites, then we can order them not to change us. All the power with none of the tentacles. Listen, if you want to put. I'm just saying, there's an opportunity here. If we can control the tadpoles, we can keep ourselves safe. And. Liberate the world from this evil. I, that's not that's not what you said at all. You literally just said that you want to be the one pulling the strings. Uh, I just... He's gonna hate me, but no! 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 So much for thinking you had ambition. I... Still, we're not there yet. Maybe you'll see the light. Yet. If you want to stick tadpoles in your head... Like, that's fine. Like, I don't care if he wants to do that. He can do whatever he wants to his own self. But, like, I'm not gonna do- I'm not gonna be an evil puppet master! Are you- okay, are you Kazador only spawn, or are there others like you? <laughs> Kazador? Sired seven spawn. Me and my six brothers and sisters. I was one of his first. Some of the others came years later. He was a monster to us all but did take special pleasure in my pain he said my screams sounded sweetest it, wow and now that i'm gone i i don't know i pity the other six D dang okay and we're just gonna leave it at that holy moly uh, did you guys hear that? There's a reason that Asterian's voice actor won, like, best performance of the year. This guy, incredible. Absolute. You could hear the, like, self-deprecating laughter and the tears. That he sounded like he was about to cry, but he was absolutely not going to let himself do that. Like, holy moly. Holy, I have never, I have never heard such good voice acting in my life. Wow. Okay, does anybody else have anything? Always a delight to speak with you. What can I do? I was curious. Uh, okay, yeah, we have a lot of talking. I was curious. I thought we were going to continually, we are going to get cutscene blocked continually, but apparently not. Yay. <laughs> uh, this mistress is always such a demanding goddess. She expects those who seek to use the weave to do so honestly and with respect for its potential to destroy, as well as its potential to save. I doubt she's asked many of her followers to blow themselves up. That's a fate she's bequeathed exclusively to me. I don't know. Hmm. She wouldn't ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. However much she's annoyed at me. I, nope, I, I don't, I don't trust her. Goddesses are, uh, and gods, uh, deities, they are, uh... Especially these ones that were previously human, known for their fickle and uh, obtuse nature. How are you feeling? It can't be easy facing the possibility of death. Oh, you know me, ever the optimist. I'm trying to focus on the positive. Listen, she's only one goddess, too. Truth is, I was living on borrowed time already. Consuming those items would only have kept the orb sated for so long. If anything, I feel more at peace than I have in months. At least now I know my death will have purpose. Won't be a distant bang in the footnotes of history. Absolutely not. 
listen here, buddy, buddy or pal. One goddess gave us an idea, and you're like, okay, that's very self-defeatist. I don't know if I've ranted about it already, but I find Gail's acceptance of this to be very out of character. Like, or like, not necessarily like in a bad way, but it's just like, you know, he was trying so hard to stay alive. You know, he was putting himself, he was putting everyone around him at risk. Like, innocent civilians, us, you know, just by his presence, because he wanted to survive so much. And now... That mistress is like, time to go blow yourself up. He's like, okay. I'm like, this sounds toxic to the extreme, you know? And like, for a man who was so keen on survival to just be like, okay, is like a little weird, a little odd. And like, maybe he was getting tired, honestly. You know, maybe he was getting tired of it and he was seeing an, unfor uh, uh, an, an undeniable end. And this has given him at least a purpose to that end. So I can see that. But at the same time, I'm like, she is one goddess out of like hundreds Sure. And she's not even a major goddess, I don't think. Like, in, like, the major pantheon. Like, in, like, the top eight or whatever. I don't know. I mean, she is a major goddess. But, like, I don't know. Like, she's not one of the OGs. You know, she was once human. Like, I don't know. I feel like the, the OGs were ones that weren't mortal at any point in time. You know, they came to being or whatever from the, the void. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. I, I, I'm like, mm, buddy, buddy, old pal, it's too early to be... Shah's blessings upon you. To be, uh, thinking about blowing yourself up. Okay, bye. Uh, Will. Well met. Uh, we already did we have Then we know our mission. Yeah, all, all roads converge at Moonrise. To Moonrise them, we can't let the Absolute take them. We can't and we won't. Shadows. The shadows be damned. Okay. I'm pretty sure we already talked about that. Did- Oh, did we- did we talk to Lazo? I think we did we? I am. Hmm. Greetings. I was distracted by Carlac having an exclamation point. Okay, bye. Um, what about also we are camping in the I do know that we are camping in the shadows, and this is potentially a bad thing. We should have camped dang it, we should have camped in the uh that circle of light. Oh well. Where's everybody else? Like, Halson and all of them. Halson and my Oathbreaker guy. Um, okay. Alright. Time for bed. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited! Auto Are you serious? I what? I'm- I'm floored. Why? Why did it auto-select 73? I think the others are asleep. Hi! 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 Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. How are you feeling? Like a... creature. Pulse. Heat. Desire. Okay, everybody. Since I met you- Close your eyes. <laughs> All I wanted was to be close or, to Or you. don't. <laughs> we're sure I won't hurt you, right? Oh, we're not sure. Um, let's take things slowly. Slow. To tell you the truth, I feel like I have two modes. Off and on, on, on. You might have to show me how slow works. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is not the time to be talking, I think. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I like slow after all. So I can't touch her. So, um. Can I kiss you now? Yes! Yes. What is glowing? <gasps> is she glowing blue? Oh my gosh! Not even a light. Symbol. What? Since I met you, all I wanted to do was touch you. Now that I can, oh. I never want to let you go. I would cry. <laughs> oh my gosh! Yes, I feel the same really way. Now. Yep, yep, yep. I hope you know that I'm yours. Completely. 
and I'd like to take you to bed now. Okay. Yeah, okay. Gods be damned. It's a good day to be alive. <laughs> <laughs> the blue fire. Oh, there you go. I think, uh, was. What? Oh my. Sleeping in the dark, Karlak is inspired. Uh, also, I think the pixie was yelling at us again. Um, also, I think, was that because. I think I have it on. Or is it just normally faded back? Black? Honestly, I don't mind that personally. Um, but. I do think that is interesting. I have the like content thing on. Morning, not so sleepy head. What? Oh. oh, look, there she is. No, I'm gonna say that. Last night I dreamt a bird was singing to me, and look, there she is. Oh, <laughs> God, sorry. I was in my own world. Uh, hi. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Oh my gosh. Sorry I didn't wait around this morning. I was just... Just buzzing. Didn't want to wake you. Oh, I love being able to... Do that. I loved it too. <laughs> More than I've ever loved anything. <laughs> Last night was uh, incredible. <laughs> This morning is incredible. Every moment with you is beyond belief. Oh my gosh, you, you guys. You like me, right? What? I just, I, I'm a little worried because she has been um, alone for so long and then it becomes like a thing where you get worried that you're gonna be like their like, sole reason for being happy and that's something that personally I don't find appealing at all. Um, I find it frightening, in fact, and so, but I, uh, so I just worry a little bit that she would, like, I, if it was me, I'd be like, oh my gosh, does she actually like me, or is it just that she's been so alone for so long, and I'm the first, you know, person to show her affection, and she, in ten years, and she's like, woohoo, and I was like, dang it, you know, uh, or like, I don't know, dang it, but like, worried about that, so there would definitely be stuff to talk about, <laughs> where it's like, mm, but do you like me, <laughs> for realsies, um, but no, yeah, I'm, I guess, uh, if it wasn't supposed to fade to black, I'm sorry, but I have the content filters on, so honestly, I prefer it that way, I like, I like cutesy scenes, so that's, that's where I'm at, <laughs> I'm happy, <laughs> but, um, and she's just so bouncy, and like, I don't know, I guess I expected her to be like, all like, you know, like, wow, like, like running around like crazy, and she is like, she's buzzing, she said, you know, she's like, you know, can't stop moving and like being active, you know, but like, honestly, this approach is like, so cute, where she's like, a little bit like, oh, you know, I'm excited, but like, you know, I don't want to, she's like, not containing it a little bit, but kind of. Like, I don't know, I don't, I'm not saying it right, but she's like, just like, kind of bouncing, and like, the way she's like, shifting and like, moving her head around, like, it just, it's so very realistic, like, it's so good. Um, of course I do, never doubt it. And, uh... What? And nothing bad is going to happen now. What? Nothing bad's ever gonna, why would I dis- why would I say that? If our record is anything to go by, there are plenty of disasters in our future, but we'll face them together. And I think that's the thing, right? Like, you can't expect a fairy tale, you know, ending. We're in the middle of the Shadowlands. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we're only in Act 2. <laughs> so, yeah, no. But the thing is, is you gotta face your troubles together. In that case, bring it on. I adore you, you know. Oh my gosh. I, I adore you too. Do I want to say I love you? I don't know. Like, like that feel. Okay, I am. That one. It's like I love you. Like, is it hesitant? Like, I don't know. I don't. Uh, no. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna make sure it's like okay. I adore you too. <laughs> Thank the gods for that. I guess we better get the day on. So much to do. So much to see. Together. Way. <laughs> Way. 
<laughs> what was that? Also, apparently, what was it? Uh, the inspiration was that P. Uh, take a full long rest in the shadow cursed land, sleeping in the dark. Well, okay then. Um, yay! Oh, Gail's got something to say. Are you gonna say? Because I'm, I'm exclusively, I'm exclusively in this camp now, Bucko. Let me just say that. You're for another time. Your cheeks are flush. Ooh. The twinkle in your eye. But I think I am no longer the cause. Nope. Carlac. Yes? You burn for each other in more ways than one. I, um, thought you would show me the respect of telling me I first, couldn't tell you anything! No matter. You can tell me now. Who is it to be? Me or her? <laughs> there wasn't an option to say anything! What? I feel like I'm, I'm being. <laughs> I feel like I'm being attacked here. Um, uh, yeah, I'm just. I'm sorry, Gail. I want to be with Carlac. Don't be. She has a good heart. Poor phrasing. She has a terrible heart. <laughs> but she's surprisingly caring, considering it. Surprisingly I caring. Won't leave. Not unless you want me to, or until fate forces my hand. If your friendship is all we have, then I will be happy to have it. Eventually. Uh, I'm glad to have you around, Gail. And I'm lucky to have met you, my friend. Dang. Okay, so I was I was up there with Gail. Wow, wow, wow. I just, I, I, sorry, I honestly feel like I'm just stumbling through this game and playing it, like, really not optimally, which is, like, I'm like, meh. <laughs> but uh, I'm trying my best, but I'm just kind of stumbling through. Um, boop, 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 does anybody... Actually, you know, I'm gonna have Will... I'm gonna make this really bad on Gale. Honestly, I want to see if there's dialogue. <laughs> well, man. Um, I'm gonna switch out. Are you sure? The blade stands at the Remain right. here. And just I'm going to bring Gale after that. And then I also kind of want to bring Asterion. Go ahead. I'm listening. With Pla- Okay. Whatever comes. Do I not? I want to leave Shadowheart behind for now. Always a pleasure. Yeah, we'll leave Shadowheart behind Shaw's for now. blessings upon you. If you're sure. Yep. Fine. And now we need to bring this boy. You're staring at me again. Uh, listen, I'm so sorry that you're wearing that helmet. Trust no one. I'm actually just gonna take it off. It looks really bad. Especially because he's supposed to have like really intense um like cutscenes stuff. Like head. emotional cutscenes, and I really don't want to have him have that on during anything like that. Okay, real quick. As you can see, over here, I have gone back in time. So here's the thing. I was playing the previous episode with my dad upstairs. <laughs> he was taking a nap in the room above me, and it was just, it just felt weird, okay? It just was a little weird. I, I, I went into it knowing that I was potentially going to have the cutscene with Carlyke. Also, I did, in the options under accessibility, I had show cinematic nudity unchecked. Um, I just thought that they were going to, that meant um, that they were going to have, like, the cutscene with, like, underwear on I guess is I don't know Bioware style you know what I mean origin style and uh, truly truly for myself I tend to prefer fade to black scenes but I am going back because I know people like to watch these scenes they're very popular I can tell you that because I, I haven't looked at my analytics in ages but I actually did the other like a couple weeks ago and for whatever reason <laughs> the episode of Witcher 3 where I have the title succubus in 
the, in the title, um, the word succubus in the title, uh, is one of my more popular videos uh, as of late for a, a while, apparently. It's in like the top five all, all the time. I don't even think there's a sex scene. I don't think I had, I don't think I had a liaison with the succubus, but like that's an older series and usually like my Dragon Age Inquisition videos are really popular, but like, are not really, you know, popular considering uh, from my stuff, you know, but for whatever reason, that one, Witcher 3 is there. And I'm just like, okay, like, I, I didn't think I did anything, but like, okay, pop off, I guess. Um, but no, I know that they're, they're popular for, these videos are popular for a reason, and I am curious uh, as to what this video will look like, but my dad was upstairs, and I was like, I don't feel, this feels weird. And then my sisters are potentially coming home from school soon, and so I was like, oh, but it turns out they're all going to chiropractic appointments now. So... I am going to just really quick run through everything I did and uh, then save first in my heart. Uh, you know. I think the Okay, let's see how this goes. I might not say anything, honestly, because that feels a little weird also. Like I said, I don't know I'm, I'm d I am do not know. I like the fade to black scenes because I'm a prude, I guess. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, but I'm, I'm also interested enough. I want to see. I want to see, but I don't want to risk anybody walking in. <laughs> uh, hello. Since I met you. I am wondering if she turned blue. Not even a light because of the me. slow approach. And I'd like to take you to bed now. She's so cute. She's just so sincere and so like, oh my gosh. <clears throat> Gods be damned. It's a good day to be alive. All right, now close your eyes for real, maybe. <laughs> this is gonna go in an extra video, I don't know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Oh, you got <laughs> nice. That's how they do it. Okay, <laughs> little stickers. <laughs> there you go, there it is. Also, I don't know how, it looked like we were in a house. I don't know where we found that, but uh, so oh my gosh, that scared me. I'll kill you so badly. I was like, oh my gosh, why is Garlic yelling at me? <laughs> Wee! Anyway, there you go, everybody, for all the voyeur, uh, the voyeurs out there. I say that kindly. <laughs> <laughs> God, she, the way she says it, I adore so you. Do, so much to see. To get uh, honestly, I this is uh, this is on its way to becoming a favorite romance for me. Like, just she's just so great. She's so great. And now we have to break Gail's heart nicely, really quick. I won't make you guys watch that again. <laughs> okay, I believe I've gotten everything down to the point where I left it at the end of the episode. I don't know, this will probably maybe be at the end of the video. Maybe I, that's, that's the hope at this point. Who knows? Editing self will figure it out. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for coming with me on this little side adventure. <laughs> I guess just in case I don't use the other uh, outro, I will go ahead here and say thank you to my patrons. To all my patrons, including my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Payne, for your support. I very much appreciate it, and I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my Sapling Tier patron, who has been a supporter for a long time and who I very much appreciate. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has gone above and beyond and has supported me in the channel and whose comments and support on Patreon are honestly really great. And I just, uh, I appreciate it a lot. So I hope you know that. And uh, anyway, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.